Okay, welcome back, Best Unit Crew. Um, gonna come on real quick and show some people how to do a any SVG and turn it into a printer cut after they design it. Some people don't know they can, some people do, but this is for the people that don't. So you will go to Cricut and you will go to New Project. When you go to your canvas, you wanna go over here to your left and scroll down where it say Upload. You go up here where it say Upload Image. Click on Browser. Wait for this box to come up. Scroll to Quick Access to the last thing you saved. If you download it, you'll go to the Downloads. But I go to Quick Access to the last thing I saved. And I find the very last picture. And I open it. And this is considered an SVG file, um, black and white, pretty much. So when you bring it over to Cricut, you have to clean it. Sometimes you'll find one off Etsy, it'll already be cleaned, and the background will already be removed for you. But if you go to Google and you find images of your choice, you will be responsible for the cleaning majority of the time, or this is a PNG. And so you go here, I go to complex image. And I always um, see, zoom in, I can see for one. You can go back and click the white, which will remove the background. Sometimes the black is quicker. It depends on how thick the lines are. So if, you, um, if your lines are not super thick, it is harder to clean. You got to make sure you hit all the white spots. So all the background need to be gone. Every little detail, including the fingers. Make sure you ain't missing nothing. You go to apply and continue. And then you check this over here to make sure it looks like what you need it to look like. Um, it looks all right. It ain't giving what I wanted to give on this end here. And we just going to... We're gonna run with it. So we'll save this one here because we want it as a cut file. A cut file will be um, if you want to do HTV vinyl or if you want to do um, regular vinyl, and you will be responsible for the coloring, like to layer it on the shirt or on the cup. If this was in color and I cleaned it and removed only the background and kept the inside because it was if it was in color, then it would be a printed cut. But we can make our own. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna go add the canvas after we highlight it. Okay, it's a tad different because the widening was small in certain areas. But uh, you go over here, you go to high contour. This is how you will change the colors of everything. Now, so you can go here and you can just click hide all. You will exit out and it will give you the base. So you duplicate a copy of it. You go back to hide and contour. This when I click on it, turn white over here. So that means it's highlighted. If it's not white, that means you did not highlight it. So I don't need the top one no more. So I'm gonna delete that one and we'll put that in a gray box. So no longer is a shadow there. And I'm just gonna collect, like highlight all the hair pieces. Okay, and I'm gonna exit out. Your hair to red for right now, just so I can see. Okay. 
and you don't have to do this. Um, I can, you can keep it black because the background is black. But if you want to layer something, majority of the time you have to make a copy of it. So the example, in case you did want to do that, you can just throw it, putting her face in, and keep that in black because it don't have a shadow. And if you're having a hard time clicking over here to make stuff show up, you can always just um, go to the panel over here and find it. Make sure I have it. If you rub your mouse over and if it highlighted it, that's when it, you should be able to click it. You see? I rub my mouse, then I can see it better. And pay attention to your boxes over here to let you know if something is highlighted. Then you push X. Okay, so you see what I'm saying about this part here? So I will have to um, duplicate again. You can duplicate the hair to keep from having more pieces to duplicate. Like the clean, rather. Why is it so long? So by me deleting the hair, um, I'll just go over here. You got to have some highlighted at all times. So you got to go ahead and highlight something. So we're going to do that face, and then we're going to get rid of all the hair pieces. So you rub your mouth across, and when it highlights, that means you can click it. Whatever light up, that's what it's highlighting. Let's see right here, we need that. It's giving me a hard time. Okay. What else? That's her arm. We need her arms, her fingers. All that'll be brown. And one little finger in the middle, we need to figure so To find the piece, you have to look in the dark gray area. In this, yes. So everything that's brushed behind, hopefully. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we turn this piece here brown. Now I'm only showing you this in case you didn't wanna uh, <clears throat> have to work too hard by changing her hair because her hair is already black. Um. We need to go into this black it's on the brown piece. We need to remove that white. Okay, so we have that. And we will duplicate the hair again, just for the shirt. So we're going to push hot all, which is going to give us the shadow again. And we're going to just highlight what we want, and then we can delete the shadow. Now, I forgot her neck on the other one, but I'm going to go back and get it. This time we're just going to do the shirt. Now we have a shirt. Which is shirt. I say change your shirt yellow. <laughs> now I should have known it though. And we'll put it where we think it's supposed to go. Now over here we already got the skin color. So we can just duplicate that. And like I said, I forgot her neck, so I had to go back into contour and bring her neck in. So we're going to go right here where it's highlighted and push contour. And just highlight her neck. Makes it back out. We have to make sure we um, put a contour. 
and remove the, you know, like the eye area. Let me just open it. Come on. Okay, and we just put this on, uh -oh. put the skin on top. See what I did? But on this one, I left it a hole, the black background hole, and I just removed the part that's going to be white on there. There's a lot of different ways you can layer. And this one right here. I just deleted the whole inside of the face and added the face. Okay. So I can do a shirt over here as well. We'll duplicate that shirt and give her a shirt. Simple, right? So if I wanted those to be a printed cut right now, they are SVGs, which is you'll be responsible for layering each piece on your shirt in color. So you'll cut a red, vinyl, brown, black, yellow, and the machine will cut all of it out. But if you didn't want to do that and you wanted this to print just like this, you will highlight and then you will flatten it, print and cut, and then they go to make it. It's a project. It's not compatible. It's too big. So when it says it's not compatible, that means it's too big for the printer. Because of course, you know, Cricut don't give you a lot to work with. You just make it smaller until you don't see this little sign over there no more that was red. Then you go to make it. But you can play with the size. And I think the print size is like a nine something, six something. The Cricut, not too big. And you go to make it. And then you have a printing cut. So it'll be on here just like this. And you will print it out on your um, printer first. Then you'll come back and you'll line it up on your mat just like this. This looks just like your mat. Pay attention to this mat area. Lay the paper exactly how you see it. Feed it through your Cricut. And Cricut will go back and forth a couple of times until it finds the print. And then it'll begin to cut. I hope that helps someone. Y'all have a blessed day.